Good evening. May I just say it is a thrill to be in this room. Whereas on the 22nd day of September, in the year of our Lord, 1862, a proclamation was issued by the President of the United States containing, among other things, the following to wit. That on the first day of January, in the year of our Lord, 1863, all persons held as slaves within any state or designated part of a state shall be then, thence, forward, and forever free. And the executive government of the United States, including the military and naval authority thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of such persons and will do no act to repress such persons in any efforts they may make for their actual freedom. Now, therefore, I, Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States, by virtue of the power in me vested as Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy of the United States, and for the purpose aforesaid, I do order and declare that all persons held as slaves within said designated states and parts of states are and henceforth shall be free and and that the executive government of the United States including the military and naval authorities thereof will recognize and maintain the freedom of said persons and I hereby enjoin upon the people so declared to be free to abstain from all violence unless in necessary self-defense. And I recommend to them that in all cases, when allowed, they labor faithfully for reasonable wages. And I further declare and make known that such persons of suitable condition will be received into the armed forces of the United States to garrison forts, positions, stations, and other places, and to man vessels of all sorts in said service. And upon this act, sincerely believed to be an act of justice, warranted by the Constitution upon military necessity, I invoke the considerate judgment of mankind and the gracious favor of Almighty God. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the United States to be affixed, done at the city of Washington this first day of January in the year of our Lord, 1863, and the independence of the United States of America, the 87th. By the President, Abraham Lincoln, William H. Seward, Secretary of State.